and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Rakdos control. That's right. We got a spicy donation deck here. So this is a viewer submitted deck that is just playing a lot of uh, value creatures and removal creatures um, and things like that and trying to grind down the opponent, trying to control the battlefield and everything. So what do we got here? So we have um, we have our two adventure creatures. I guess there's technically three adventure creatures, but the two removal ones with Murderous Rider and Bone Crusher Giant. So you know we get to have removal and then turn and then have creatures afterwards. So these are kind of like our our chupacabras or our our flame tongue kavus kind of thing. And we also have Merchant of the, of the Veil, I guess, which is another adventure creature. Um, but this is really more for just being like the two three that has that ability that in the late game when you have a lot of extra mana, you can activate it multiple times a turn it doesn't tap whenever you activate it um but yeah so we we have so th like that's kind of like the, the part of the core of our deck we're also an iron crag pyromancer deck so that if whenever we draw our second card we get to do three damage to um any target <laughs> thanks choco um and whenever uh <clears throat> and so we need to so whenever we draw our second uh, card we get to do three damage to any target. You know, we get free lightning bolts each time that happens. So we're going to need to draw two cards a turn. So the Merchant of the Veil helps with that. Other cards that help with that, we have Dread Presence to be able to draw an additional card each turn. Now we need a swamp to be able to enter. We only have 13 swamps in the deck, but so hopefully, you know, like so we're going to try to save swamps for later on in the game because of Dread Presence and play other lands first if possible. And then we also have Rankle which works pretty well here. We can also do the, the second mode. Each player lose one life, draw a card. So we can draw an extra card with Rankle there for the Pyromancer. And it can be removal if we need to sacrifice, <clears throat> um, have have a stuff trade. You know, like maybe we killed smaller creatures with Legion's End and Dragon Fire and Bone Crusher Giant. And then they have like one big creature left and we can make them sacrifice it. And we can trigger the Pyromancer and stuff like that. Um... Also have some Order of Midnights. I'm not so sure about this one, but this is just another creature that you know has that Alter Fate, gets to, gets to return some of these other creatures back from our graveyard to our hand. And then this is a good creature for sure to sacrifice to Rankle, if need be. Ah, oh, sorry, talking too much. Um, I'm not as sold on this card though, but we'll, we'll see how it plays out. And then of course our top end, uh, Rakdos has three awesome Planeswalkers at the six mana slot and so that's what we got we got two lilianas a chandra and an ugin and then just some other sweepers everything in there so this looks pretty interesting to try so let's let's uh go ahead and try it out and see how rakdos control does so with our donation decks like always we're going to go ahead and play a league with the deck and see if we get to five wins before two losses Yeah, basically, like, yeah, Zaxor, I just don't, that's just something I just don't really do anymore. I just don't drink anymore. So that's something I've changed about my life. I am 6-1. I am 6-1. Okay, good looking hand. The thing about playing a Rakdos control deck like this is we don't have, like, Rakdos doesn't, like, we have lots of good removal, but not necessarily lots of good card draw. And so that's why cards like Dread Presence and Rankle are pretty important. Um, they don't help us get to our fourth land drop, but, like, continuing on after four lands, they can help us continue to hit land drops. What's Island Hallowed Fountain? A Teferi deck. That makes sense. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Come on, land. Yay. No. Wrong land. Want to land to be able to just rank all the Teferi.
Deputy of Detention. Trust me, I have a plan. Hmm. This is not a swamp. Doesn't trigger dread presence. I'm just going to do this. You, just let you have to hit the opponent to get the triggers. I'm just going to do that, though. No, you yeah, didn't make the emotes. Pacifism. It's a very arresting deck my opponent's playing over here. This is a little frustrating, not having Dread Presence hit again. Another land it doesn't hit. And the deputy dodges these two removal spells that I have in hand. I mean, obviously, we get to Murderous Rider it if we want. But I don't really want to use a Murderous Rider on that. I, I would like to just activate Castle. Hmm. I'm just going to play the Merchant and pass and hold up Murderous Rider or Merchant activation. I don't really want Cry or Legion's Ends. These are card, good cards to discard it and draw. Obviously, I could have done the first part, the Haggle part first, but... <laughs> A lot of people say that, Wizard, that this song brings them back to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. You're not alone. <laughs> there. Okay, cool. So Swamp, we get to replace itself with Dread Presence. They are playing a Sweeper. It probably is Time Wipe, though. There's not a lot of decks that pacifism is good against, but we're certainly one of them. Maybe the best deck that pacifism is good against was having no enchantment removal being red black. I guess we have Ugin. <laughs> this is now a Tony Hawk Pro, Sk Pro Skater stream. I could have had to land do two damage to Deputy and then cast Cry, but I'd rather be drawing a card anyway.
And that's very fair too. Yeah, we could respond to the Dread Presence trigger with Murderous Riding the Deputy to get the Pyromancer to be able to do three. But I'm not sure if the three damage is, um, is too vital. I think we need to outgrind our opponent. I'll just play a Mountain Rider. Thank you so much there, Horatio. I really appreciate that. Yeah, you can unlock more. Like, the more subscribers you have, the more emote slots you unlock. I know. For me to unlock another emote slot, though, I need... 200 more subscribers. I got it. So, I've never been very close to unlocking the next slot. This is like the most subscribers, about the most subscribers I've ever had is right now. Hmm. So, 200 is quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, Gatsby's been around a little bit. I think Gatsby was around like just a day or two ago. Okay. Gotta gain this life so we can activate castle and not feel so bad. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much, Horatio. Oh, so you, you went to the computer, turned it on to get that sub in for the Twitch Prime sub. It's not working too well on mobile. Well, I, I really appreciate that, Horatio, for going and turning on the computer just to do that. That's That's some work right there. Oh, you met Gatsby yesterday, Lou? Oh, I should have activated this first. Like the Gatsby that's always here in chat? Because, yeah, Gatsby sent me a message on, um, on Discord yesterday saying that he thinks that he's going to be coming through Roanoke pretty soon, and so hopefully I get to meet him. Anyway, uh, Frisky, thanks so much for gifting that sub to Radical Guru. I really appreciate that. This thing up. All right, so I'm losing an extra life. That's why I needed to draw that thing. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? See? Hello, Gatsby's here. Hmm. Let me get rid of that thing. I really should have seen that coming. Yep, you should have seen that coming. All right, we got our worst card in our hand countered. So that's a good sign. <laughs> I 
yeah. Yeah, it can, Rox. Hey, it's all good, Matthew. The wind whispers secrets. Glad you got to you glad you got to listen. see the deck and everything. It's okay, that takes takes a while. My opponent's deck is a very slow deck as well. They're playing pretty slowly. They've already taken three more minutes than I have. For example. Um I could really use drawing a swamp. Then I get to double dread presence, play the swamp, deal four. Especially if they're making a 3-1 here, or a 4-4 four, four here. All right, looks like they probably have this. I do standard donation decks every single day there, Trevor. Like, the two Ds mean we're doing a donation deck. Right now, we're currently playing a standard donation deck. So, yeah, if, you would, if you'd like to donate for a, a, a deck... Um, you just let me know which day and which time slot first, second, third, or fourth you would like me to play that deck. But I play them every single day. This thing can't block. We don't have a swamp. This game's over. All they have to do is tick up Mu Yanling. I regret becoming involved. Uh, thanks so much there, Zaxor. Thank you so much. Uh, a swamp with Pyromancer and Presence is only... It's not 5 damage. Because you, you have to draw a card for, with your Presence... And so you can you can draw a card and then do three, or you can just do the two. I train every day. Meditate and prepare. That was worthless. Yeah, they have a Narset in play, Hawkeye. Okay. I should have played the Pyromancer first. Oh. I must train harder. Hmm. I could draw another card if I take two. I mean, if I draw a swamp, it doesn't sur doesn't help me survive since we're taking the two there.
All right, get rid of this cry of the Carnarium. Um, I don't know. I guess Ritual of Soot kind of does stuff. I guess we're not playing two drops. I don't, I don't really want any of these two drops. Order of Midnight, like they're they're not really killing my creatures with just all these pacifisms. Will you stop? Yeah, there's probably not enough swamps in here for Dread Presence. Thirteen of them. Probably not. But that's okay. We're we're trying it out. Um, basically, the only reason why I want Ritual Soot is because of Deputy. None of these spells kill. I guess I should just play. I should just play Dragon Fires. Dragon Fires can kill the Planeswalkers. That none of them really kill. Um, Kefnet, but Dragonfire can also help exile Kefnet. So yeah, I should play these. Yeah, um, Deckmaster, like, all the, the decks are up on, on Deckmaster. Deckmaster is not w working too well, though, so it's easier, to, for the deck list, it's easier to, to go to YouTube and click on the videos there in YouTube, and there's a direct link to the deck list there. Triple Deputy of Detention. Triple Deputy of Detention. Yeah, I could definitely see that. I could definitely see playing fetch lands over the gain life lands for this deck to try to get more swamps in there. I think we need better ways to draw a second card, though, probably. I'm not sold on this thing. I kind of wish our deck was just Grixis. And then it, we wouldn't play... If we were Grixis, we wouldn't play... Um... Dread Presence, but we could just play Royal Scions. Royal Scions is just so perfect with Iron Crag. So I kind of wish we had Royal Scions. Yeah. I can... Yeah, I can do that, Trevor. Um, I don't have a... I don't have a specific... Uh, Q. Like, there's... I can put you for like the last deck basically to like around 9 p.m. Eastern. You know, it, it's not going to be like the exact time, of course, because it's going to be kind of like whenever how long the other decks take, but it'll be around then. But I can't I can't guarantee an exact, you know, minute to start. Yeah, Stormfist Crusader could be a way here in Rakdos to, to draw that extra card. That could be worthwhile. Yeah, that'll work, Trevor. That'll work.
This has been a great time to draw a swamp where we could kill the deputy, get back the pyromancer, place swamp. Oh no, we want to dealt five. No, we want to we want to do do five. We'd only do three. Never mind. Robber the Rich doesn't technically draw a card, though, for Pyromancer. Robber the Rich doesn't work for this card. Yeah, I like the two mana instant discard draw too. I think, I think that card, that card, is better than this thing. Like this, paying a mana to discard a card to draw another card. Yeah, we're just down a card there, but I guess we can still cast the merchant. But yeah, merchant's also a creature and everything, so I understand that. Like, you know, it's a creature, and it, you, especially like in the really late game when you have extra lands, you get to keep discarding them to draw more. Keep on using that effect. <laughs> yeah, our our opponent's enchantment heavy deck matches up really well against my not enchantment deck or like my my no ways to get rid of enchantment deck kind of thing yeah ugin can so ugin's kind of the card that we're hoping resolves here we got a, a bunch of mopey creatures on both sides that are trying to deal with other creatures But I'll fight if I must. The sky is my domain. My search continues elsewhere. We can still get this. going to be important because then we would have got this thing back then we would have discarded the pyromancer to draw another card oh that would have only been our first draw so we wouldn't have bolted anything but at least we would have had two three to block uh, mountain isn't great so their last card is another Good. I think their last card would be another counter spell. To 
vision. Glad it's not. Yep, Ryder has lifelink as well. No, Ugin, no, these don't count as like drawing cards if these get put into your hand. Answer with the machine gun. We drew another swamp. I guess I should probably wait till next turn to play the swamp. Nah. I oh, know I don't. I don't trigger the pyromancer there, but that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand like a merchant. Ooh, that was a good top deck. We still got a whole lot going on over here though, so we're good. Yeah, I merchants probably merchants better than thrill of possibilities. All right, game three. And there we go. Thank you so much, there, Trevor. Okay. So fires of Fey. So a fires of invention mill deck. All right. Is it is it best of one or best of three? So yeah, is it mill deck? Yeah, bag of holding. I think the yeah, bag of hold yeah, bag of holding would be good. That that's definitely that's an easy way to get that other that second draw. You, know, you draw then discard. Yeah, bag of holding would be really good. You just pay two, tap it, draw then discard. That's an easy way to trigger the pyromancer. Yep. Uh, Shane, yes, it looks like your sub did go through. I didn't get any notification here. Try. Oh, there's Kendis with the resub to get us to 20 also. Shane, try refreshing your stream real quick, and there may be a notification for you to send. But, yeah, you got the tie badge and everything. Yeah, I understand the cyborg is made to use with Fae of Wishes, so that's why I'm guessing it's best of one. That's, that's why I was guessing that, but not sure. I wanted to ask. Because it doesn't, doesn't look like he had like a sideboard to bring in against any matchup in particular. So it's probably probably a best of one deck. Which is yeah, you know, which is just fine. But while opponents would sideboard against us, we wouldn't really have a sideboard. We didn't get to do anything cool with Grumgully, unfortunately. I liked I liked our uh, plan with Grumgully.
Oh, right. Exiling this thing doesn't matter. It just goes back to the library. I liked our plan, but it just didn't... It didn't work out. We got... Uh, we lost twice to Simic Flash that just, you know, disrupted us a bunch. And I, my four Vela Summers, I drew zero in games two and three both times. Huh, that card is an instant. My opponent may instantly regret not using it as such. Double time wipe. Mission briefing prison realm. I'll stick this prison realm. Oh yeah, good good call there, Moxie. So yeah, um, I have I have the link saved there. So just so yeah, you can just edit the the link there, Trevor. Um, you know I won't get that till later. But yeah, good call. So I thought they were just going to use a time wipe here. I didn't really play a Bone Crusher Giant. Is it even worth it? No. Yeah, Order of Midnight's not any good. So yeah, I'd rather have Bag of Holding there. I would, I would much, yeah, if, if you're just, you know, if you want a card to bring back your creatures for two mana, just play Find Finality. Like, Find just costs double black, but gets two creatures instead of getting one creature back. Because the, yeah, that's, that's a better card there. Also. But yeah, I like I like bag of folding in that slot. All right, so we will attack. Kind of hoping do we get hoping we can get to the sixth mana to be able to play Ugin and Liliana. They're so saying yeah, cutting Order of Midnight for Bag of Holding. Yeah, I agree. I think that's the only time you want to play Order of Midnight is with Rocking Clover. If you're playing Clover, the Lucky Clover. I'm known for my excellent type. Don't worry, I got this. I think we're good on removal spells. I think we got plenty. The, 
I think our deck needs more card draw than removal spells. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. Uh, now what? <clears throat> But yeah, if you don't want to play three bag of holding, I could I could see going one find finality. Um, there's there's the three mana, the the black three mana card that's just a draw two. <laughs> yeah, treasure map would be nice. Yeah, Forever Young technically draws the card, so I like it more than than Order of Midnight, because yeah, it does technically draw the card instead of just putting it back in the hand. And of course, you can get more, but probably won't be getting more too often. Yay, we drew a six land. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. Get out of my way! So we've... Have we shuffled that Kefnet back in? I think we have. So I think the Kefnet is just shuffled. Wow, Scry 2 top? Wow. So do we Scry an, op an Opt to the top to take the other card? And just get the Opt out of the deck? Yeah, for every young trigger stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that Liliana had excellent timing. I agree. Secrets manifest before. Putrid, but effective. This looks like game. They can just make a 4-4. Four, four. And there's a lot of ways that we can <clears throat> kill them. One, we can just attack. That'll do it. Yeah, it took 20. Yeah. It was close. We went about 40 minutes for the match. <laughs> but we did it. We grinded him down. We grinded him down. Yeah, my opponent could have grabbed back Time Wipe. Yeah, they could have. I don't know why they didn't. They could have sanctuaried the Time Wipe. Um... Obviously, with Liliana, we would have just drawn a lot of cards. But. And now they're going to rope. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it looks like the better tears of defeat here. Yeah, I would have drawn five with Liliana and also put this Dread Presence into our hands. So really like draw six if there was a time wipe. 
Um, I don't know any good jokes. I don't know any good jokes. That's not, it's never been something for, that's been my strong suit. It was a good match, though. You know, it was a really good long match. You know, it took 20 minutes off both of our clocks. It was a, um, it was a good, it was a good match. And here we go. <laughs> well, Bone Crusher Giants a removal spell. Control decks have to win anyway. But yeah, we're just we're playing a lot of removal. <laughs> You're welcome, Matthew. Yeah, that's what I'm good at that. I'm good at, you know, finding you know, when I replay the deck. You know, like the decks it's it's so early too, and you know, like we're playing brews and stuff. It's it's okay that these decks aren't perfect. That's fine. It's it's good to to yeah look for weaknesses and and look for upgrades that we can have. Cause yeah, I think the Order of Midnight's I think that can there's a lot of ways we get to upgrade that. Hey Samantha. So if, if y'all are just kind of joining, we got the 12 hour stream tomorrow. I'm gonna be playing a lot of decks in ranked. We'll see if we can go from platinum to mythic tomorrow. That's that's the goal. Don't know if it can actually happen, even if I win all of the matches. I don't know exactly how many wins you'd have to get to, to get there, but we'll see. We're gonna play magic, see what happens. So yeah, starting that off at noon tomorrow, uh, Eastern time. Eastern right now is nine seventeen p.m. So nine hours before this tomorrow. So it's in in I guess noon tomorrow is in fifteen hours. So in fifteen hours from now. Hey, what's up, Templar? Thank you so much for that sub. I appreciate that. 11 month streak. It's a lot of months. But yeah, you are amazing, Templar. Thank you so much. Number 21. We're doing pretty good for the timeout plan. Looks like Simic Flash again. Yeah, we we lost to yeah, our both both of our losses were to Simic Flash. I had the four Vela Summers in the sideboard to help out there and we lost them both in game three and we saw zero Vela Summers even with like all of our mulligans and stuff in the four games. Just there wasn't a single one ever. And that so that really hurt. All right, play around quench. Of course, we've only drawn lands. I wish I would have put a land down to the bottom because we've only drawn lands. I put uncounterable Chandra down to the bottom against the flash deck. 
That's how it's been going against flash decks today. Hey, we drew a spell. We're getting a good night's sleep tonight for the 12 hour stream tomorrow. Then we go into bed basically right after the stream finishes up tonight. All right, Vanner. Take care. All right, they're down to 26 minutes. Those blind okay. to tyranny are lost. They just can't see. It. Well, Oko's kind of unbeatable. Welcome to the feast. <laughs> you missed Goblin Chain Whirler the most this week. And don't even play Mono Red. So hostile to the truth. Yeah, games. Yeah, games definitely take longer. Um, there are gaze into my face and put on your um, true shape. Like the aggro decks, especially like mono red, isn't as well positioned. There are a lot of ways to to grind and a lot of life gain. With with more life gain, the games just go longer. That's kind of how it is there. There's not best decks, um, you know, this early. It takes a few weeks for that. So, like, there's not a best aggro deck. There's not a best any any kind of deck. So for the Uroc deck, probably planning on. Uh, you are fouler than a fiend. Um, you know, gonna be going Risen Reef, Elemental stuff. Uh, gonna be going with Wicked Wolf to try to be the damage. Ravenous Chupacabra replacement. So we'll be playing like Oko, you know, Gilded Goose Oko, that kind of stuff. as well. I don't really know how I beat this Oko with them having all these counter spells. Think up a fun fate for you. Ha. 
Haggle is pretty awful against counter magic. You have to disc. Oh, I guess if it gets countered. I guess it's not. Okay, cool. Thanks, Trevor. Sounds good. And yeah, I'll just grab the deck list tomorrow. So yeah, you can tinker with it. For sure. Your new look is enchanting. Yeah, this is this is basically fast food. I really just want to land. I want to be able to go Dread Presence land, and then you know they counter Dread Presence. I still go land Murderous Rider. I don't think we can win this game at all. Basically, just kind of wasting time on our opponent's clock, I guess. No. I don't want to do that. We can't beat Ambusher and Oko. A fistful of counter spells. All right, bunch of Noxious Grass, bunch of Bedevils, bunch of Duress. This card's not playable. Get that thing out of here. Um, kind of just don't want... I mean, Cry the Carnarium's out of here. We just take out Pyromancer, Merchant of the Veil. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just cutting these two cards. And then I'm going to play some coils. Yep, got to get those duresses in there. And really like these noxious grass, especially if they're playing Oko. Well, not really the correct... Six mana walker this time. We'll keep it. Not not duressing turn one. Basically, we want to wait on duress until we need it. Um, we want to be able to like duress plus play something else. 
you know, taking taking a counter spell right now where they could just draw another one doesn't help us too much. Remodi Reveler is not bad. Yeah, I like Remodi Reveler. I think that's probably a stronger card than the Merchant. Merchant is a 2-3, which is nice. I don't know. That's close. That's close. I mean, it's it's certainly better than the... Uh, than the Order of Midnight. We already talked about that. Yeah, I could definitely see playing... Um, Remodi Reveler. Ooh, Liliana Last Hope was a cool card. That was a cool card. Just main phasing Spectral Sailor so they don't have to discard. So if I play Legion's End, just lets them get another card out of their hand here. Like they they want me to play stuff so they get to counter stuff so they don't have to like go to discard potentially. I want to just play lands. Get more information. I don't want them to draw land. I want them just to draw a spell. Now, maybe they only have one counter here where we can, like, duress, take counter, play six drop. They have zero counters here. So... Should we take Oko? Maybe they start taking these Sinister Sabotages. Thing is like Brazen Borrower. Like if I play Liliana and Minus, they get to kill Liliana with Brazen Borrower. Of course they get to they get to bounce stuff though too. So actually, yeah, let's play this in Minus. If I were you, I'd just surrender right now. Because even if I play Ugin and Tick Up, they just bounce Ugin. You can only bounce opponent stuff. A little death never hurt anyone. Unfortunately, like, this whole time, we haven't drawn anything else to play. You know, like, we don't have anything else to, like, double spell. Like, they just have, like, the one counter spell. We don't have anything else. They're looking just for a green source. We're 
we're going to be in trouble whenever they do find a green source. We're in trouble. Taking sabotage. They have two sabotages, though. So we wouldn't have had, like, a window. They have two of them. It's like, we could have taken one, but they have another one. But we didn't. We wouldn't have had another window. There's two. The wrinkle's pretty awkward because the wrinkle turns on the essence c capture. And so they can play, if I play wrinkle, they can play, like, ambush or capture. Oh, yeah, if they play Doko. Yeah, I, I probably should not have taken Yeah, that's true. They weren't going to play the Yoko at all, so I really shouldn't have taken it. Um... Yeah, drawing a card with castle just costs so much. Oh, so much. So basically, if I if I don't play anything, they just they wolf, and that's a huge problem. Because then they have wolf with multiple counter spells, and that's just that's just game over. So I have to play something. Discard. Uh, my auto tapping. I don't have like a red available for the lava coil, <clears throat> so I have to draw an untapped red source to lava coil this this thing. On untap red source. Yeah, we did it. We did it. The wolf's out of here. The wolf is out of here. And I, I did the sacrifice. Let's got another capture. I did the sacrifice so that... We didn't, so we didn't take like another four. Because we're going to need our life total to help out with these castles.
This is pretty odd. You're gonna just tap out. Alright, well we fought through even more counter spells. Mm, that's not a good sign, they're just willing to keep that on top. Whenever I have a Liliana here. It's not a good sign. Here. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> wow, Havocus, glad Good glad to hear that. Easy to find in war. Yeah, happy to hear that. I'm gonna keep the swamp. Oh, no, I shouldn't keep the swamp. So like. The swamp would be really good if we had a dread presence to keep in hand, but it's really bad with the castle to keep the swamp. But what is that card? Is it Brazen Buccaneer? Or Brazen Borrower? I always want to call the thing Buccaneer. It's a wolf. Wolf's not ideal. Rider. I'll find a use for you later. Oops. I do love a good death whale. All right, got a lifelink creature. And if we draw a swamp, we get to just deal two to them and gain two. They did not upkeep castle. Maybe they might have kept that other card on top. I guess I didn't quite see what they did. Ugh, that's not good. Well, I guess Murder Strider can. Rise and shine. Gain two. Oh, this game's not over yet, Matthew. This game's not over. Not over yet. But I'm I'm very happy how I played with this game, except for one. I probably should have dressed away a sabotage instead of the Yoko, but besides that, I'm really happy how patient we were. It really, it really helped us.
And of course, I'm unloading my hand because of the castle. Oh my gosh. Good thing Murderous Rider gained two. Ugh. GG. All right. Now it's over. Ugh. So close. So close. My opponent almost got me. They had lethal if they returned a rider. Um, not real. I mean, if they return rider, I can. I do. Or yeah, whenever I was at two. But yeah, if they. Yeah, I guess. And yeah, in combat. They would return murderous rider because yeah, I would have been at two. All right, we're in game three. They got 15 minutes left. I got 16. Draw some lands. So I'm I'm you know I'm, I'm doing something different here just because we don't have lands necessarily. Like before we were just gonna be able to hit land drops and you know just wanted to keep the duress in hand, but now we don't have lands for the land drops. So I have the grass for Oko. Grass and murderous rider for Oko. I just don't care too much about Essence Capture. Okay. They're stuck on two lands as well. So they're in that same scenario. This doesn't look too good for us. There we go. We need to just keep drawing lands, try to get to Awakened Inferno. Preferably swamps. Ugh. 
Not going good. All right, that worked. Sailor out of there. My opponent's thinking the same thing. I'm sure they, they probably have like wolves and stuff over there. They're just trying to draw into now. All right, Chandra. Stay back. You can do it. I think we got this. Pyromancer. We'll see. We'll see. Can we, do we have this? Oh, Maybe not. They're going to try to race. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a great draw step. Trigger this Dread Presence. Yeah, still no fourth land for them, even though... Just lethal. We each lose a life draw card. And now they take two from the emblems. GG. Yeah, even with us missing a bunch of land drops, we still got, you know, seven lands here. And they just have three. Looks like for the second time in a row. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, is this going to be just second time in a row? We get the rope. Yeah, Discovery. Yeah, Discovery Dispersal could work really well in this. Yeah. Yeah, Discovery, that, that gets you your second draw for Pyromancer. So, yeah, I would, I'd kind of like go in Grixis. Yeah, you get dis Discovery. And I just want Royal Scions as far as Iron Crag Pyromancer goes. Thanks, Fallen. So yeah, yeah, I thought we played that one pretty well there. GG's. That was like the fastest game we've played today. All right, gonna get rid of Cry the Carnarium. <laughs> yeah, if if you're going if you're going Grixis, you're not not playing. Um, if we're going Grixis, we're not playing Dread Presence. That's not happening. But yeah, if if your dream is still Pyromancer, Dread Presence could probably do it. Probably could do that. I wouldn't mind another Swamp or two, or three. 
in general. And um and yeah, cards like Discover yeah, I would really like Discovery. Like Discovery, Bag of Holding, stuff like that. Fill out our two mana slot, help us hit land drops. Ugh. Could have definitely used the land here, so we get you know land. We get to rankle, take out both of these creatures. So I, I would have just you know I would have sacrificed rankle. Yeah, you know, we would have drawn a card, so it would have been the second card drawn to trigger to kill one, and then and we would have sacrificed rankle and made them sacrifice a creature as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rankle with Bag of Holding. That is pretty nice. Make both players discard, but then you have Bag of Holding. That is pretty cool. Yeah, this, this needs to be, like, something a lot better. We've already listed, like, five cards that this could be. This needs to be something better. Cause, cause yeah, we're just we're just at the mercy of our our draws here. We need something like I was said, like bag of holding discovery. Like discovery would be awesome. I think four discoveries for sure. Possibly they have another justice strike. So the sack of creature just gets rid of gets uh, plays around, God's willing. I definitely don't want to do like this and this because then if if they don't if they just let their creature die then I'm sacrificing a creature, and they're not. I do like my hand. Like, you know, Order and I can get back Wrinkle, and I can kind of keep on doing this with Wrinkle. That's cool. Kind of wanted to sacrifice the Pyromancer anyway. Ugh. I'm like looking over here because Hawkeye's in front of the, the screen. Can't see the, the buttons. Alright, Guru, have a good night.
pretty good. Good thing we got this Liliana, or sorry, good thing we have the Pyromancer back on defense still. The undead make great minions. Loyal and sorry. This looks like a fun new toy. Is that good game as in we're dead? Yep. Darn. I feel like we should have had a better, I don't know, a better game there with having the Pyromancers. All right, so Soot. I do like Cry for the cards that they're playing over there. And then, all these removal spells. Ugin can come in to take over. The late game, let's just bring in all of these removal spells. Kind of don't want to play these cards. Yeah, I mean, this is just all removal. That looks good. No, we're playing until we either win five or lose two. So we could be playing for a while here. Our deck is very slow. But yeah, this is the last deck of the night. Yep. Let's see the Usually my usually I'd, the stream would be over right about now. I usually stream from three to ten Eastern, but it looks like we're gonna have a longer day here. Um, but we'll be back we'll be back in about fourteen hours for the twelve hour stream. Yeah, Noxious Noxious Grasp is awesome. I could definitely see... That's a good point. I could definitely see playing Noxious Grasp main deck. Um, especially with the ability to disc, to draw and discard. I could definitely see that. So we want to try to keep our swamps for later for Dread Presence, but of course, this is all we have. Um, we'll go Wrinkle. I think I just choose none. They're mana screwed over there. I don't want to like say discard, because they're going to discard some, play some card they can't cast, and all my cards are good. And so I don't really want to say draw, because then that could draw them into the land. But if, if we go draw... we go draw maybe that helps sets up our dread presence though i'm just gonna say none yeah they're they're missing white mana Probably should have been Legion's ending there. Let's see what else they had. All 
All right, we're riding. Scry to the top. All right, it's so a bunch of feathers. Is there a sound bug going on? It kind of sounds like a, like a, a wrinkle sound bug. Should I be playing duresses to take God's willing? No, I'll just go with this. I, I would like to play duress. For God's willing, but I kind of just want all the removal spells. Yeah, it's like yeah, that's just thinking like a burning, like something's burning. That's the sound bug. Yep, that's true. Sit counters God's willing. I still can kill through it. So does Rankle, like with the sacrifice. Virgiliax. Hopefully that was close. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for that support. Virgiliax, I really appreciate that. Alright, so save swamps. Save the swamps. For Dread Presence. Um, I don't love Stormfist Crusader too much because the opponent gets to draw and everything too. But we've talked about um, talked about a lot of other good options for the deck, like Bag of Holding and Discovery were two that I that I liked in particular. Hmm. So yeah, of course, if we play Noxious Grass, so they have God's Willing, that's that's a real problem. Just doing this, drawing an extra card, seeing if we can double up on removal spells, or like next turn we can have Rank... You know, if they attack with Feather, which is likely, if they don't leave Feather back, then we can attack with Rankle and have, uh, like, you know, with the whole sacrifice thing. Um, and then also have Noxious Grasp at the ready as well. Hmm. Or they don't attack. Whoa, mana traders! Play magic online because penguins are cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, mana traders bring in the hype. If y'all don't know about Mana Traders, it is the best Magic Online subscription service. Used them for years. Um, thank you so much there, Mana Traders. So yeah, yeah, definitely recommend checking out. Because yeah, I've, I've used Mana Traders for years and years. So if, uh, if you want to get into Magic Online, if you want to get into Modern Legacy, uh, those other formats that are not on Arena here, and even if, if you want to get into a whole bunch of standard decks and you don't want to try to buy all the cards on Arena, you can just um, pay a monthly fee and, you know, just like a subscription, you know, just like Netflix or anything like that, you can just and uh, you just rent the cards that you want. You know, you just tell Mana Traders, all right, I want these cards. They, they send them to you. You, you play with the cards uh, throughout, you know, a league or two, however much you want. Send them right back whenever you're done. And, you know, next time you sign on, you can just rent the same cards, rent different cards. 
ship them back and forth. It's awesome. Hand Trader is such a good service. Such a good service. <laughs> good old penguin. Thanks there, Man Trader. So yeah, check out check out Man Traders. I can't really recommend it enough, honestly. All right, so integrity. So they have to have double God's willing. Yay, not double God's willing. So they, you know, to, to sign up, you sign up with like with your PayPal account and if, if you do take the cards, they'll charge your PayPal account kind of thing. Um, but yeah, just don't don't steal the card. Just, you know, send them back. <laughs> just don't do that. Uh, let's see. So they can they can give their their Tajik plus two plus two to save it from Dread Presence, which I think we might as well just get this integrity out of their hand by doing this. Do you think Sack Murderous Rider? So yeah, we're gonna be playing the Rankle to attack. We're gonna be playing Murderous Rider as well. Like that's that's our plan. Murderous Rider does have life link. But I I agree with your Sack Murderous Rider though because um, now their next creature, we can trade Rankle for that, and then we have Rankle for the next creature after that. We've had a lot of swamps this time with Dread Presence, so it's been it's been pretty awesome for us. <laughs> yeah, Rakdos controlled, no Angrath. We're just controlling with these creatures. We got creature control. Looks like looks like we're gonna be three now. We'll see. I don't have a swamp. I don't get to trigger dread presence. I don't have a swamp. These are not swamps. There we go. Yep, opponent bites the dust. And another one's gone. Down to 3 and 0 now. Three and O. Keeping this one going. Okay, yeah, you just start with Arena. Yeah, it is really cool to, to rent cards there. Because, yeah, you get to choose, um, you know, like whatever, you know, like if you want to be like, all right, I want to try Simic Flash. And so you try Simic Flash for a little bit. And then you're like, all right, well, maybe I want to try this Esper Doom deck. So you just, you know, send that back. You get to try Esper Doom and, and so on. You know, like you, it's just um, there's no there's no limit on, you know, you can just you just play with the deck for a little bit, send it back as soon as you're done. And then you write, you know, whenever you send it back, you're like, all right, now I want these ones. Um, and so there's different subscription levels based on how much, um, you know, how, like how, how much time do you want to rent the cards and how expensive the cards are that you want to rent and everything. Just it's laid out very well informationally on their website as well, too. Yeah, radio stream still going. We got a, a long league here. We played some. We played three long matches so far, but let's try to win two more. Let's try to get this 5-0. So we want to save both swamps. We're gonna play all these other lands. Oh, I should. I should have played the castle. 
because the castle's gonna come into play tapped. Thanks, Ether. Yeah, there you go. There's a link. To mana traders there. And so, yeah, I would use them. Um, I used to stream modern all the time. And I'd stream tons of different modern decks. And modern is, there's so many more cards than standard. And so, you know, people would have their donation decks and everything in modern. And so it's hard to have every single card on Magic Online, of course, because there's just, you know, thousands and thousands. So use them. Use that service a ton. Rhythm of the Wild, huh? What we got going on over here? Is this like Naya Cavalcade? Or is this... I don't know, are we just playing this thing to give something else haste? Like we got... We got Ilharg over here that we're trying to give Ilharg haste with all this stuff. What we got going on over here? Ugh. That's the problem with playing Dread Presence there. We didn't get any value out of it. I want to draw a card, but I also want to kill these things. Can't do both. We'll kill this thing. Banneret would be able to mentor onto the courier. Yeah, maybe this is Naya Goblins. Double Riot. Three, three. I can't kill that. Wow. At least we got lots of swamps. Lots of swamps. Yeah, it's not yeah, it's not renting accounts. Yeah, it's just you just put in like orders for what cards you want to rent. Okay. Get back the dread presence. I think I wanna just do do two gain two. We're kind of taking a lot of damage. Maybe we can try to flip this race around. Oh, love it. Wow, we are going crazy with Dread Presence here. Best Dread Presence game we've had for sure. <laughs> no, it's it's for Magic Online, so you can't you can't damage cards on Magic Online. And GG. What's up, Zerv? Going good. We're 3 0 and up a game with Rakdos control here. And what's up, Joe? Yeah, good to see you too. We got our late stream going on here. Tomorrow we're going for the 12 hour one. We're doing 12 hour tomorrow starting at noon. I 
I mean, I kind of feel like I just do the same thing I just did against Feather, honestly. Because it's just kind of basically just like Feather. I guess I don't really need all the Noxious Grasps. So maybe we play these things. All right, here we go. Yep, yep. I agree, Matthew. I think the deck can definitely improve. Um, so yeah, it's, it's good that our deck that... Uh, you know, we do have the ability to improve is still doing well. <laughs> this game, we got two things, Swamps and Dread Presence. You can't beat Swamps and Dread Presence. That is a combo. You just have to have enough Swamps and enough Dread Presence. And we did. That's all you need, though. Leyline of Combustion. Alright, so if we do... If we target their things, we take two. We take a damage anyway, though, if we don't target their things. I mean, I guess I could pass there, see if they... Uh, activate, but then they could have something that saves their their creature. I'm really surprised they went f for the 2-2 two -two there. Considering they know I have a 4-3 to play. Really surprised they didn't just uh, make that goblin a 3-3 three, three power. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. That's right. Take 2. You target your own creature. Take two. That's how it works. Them's the rules. So plan is just to play the merchant and play Liliana tick up. Next turn. Whoa. Uh, I should have played Mountain. Old Swamp for presence. I require servants. Your corpse will volunteer. Good, mindless played that too fast. Um, Rhythm of the Wild. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> yeah, they're playing a whole bunch of small creatures in Gates of Blaze. Of course, we can draw multiple cards Smelly, but effective. by sacrificing um, zombies or, you know, double blocking with zombies and everything. We can get, we get the card draws with Liliana in play that can trigger the Pyromancer here. I will block. All right, so triple block. So three creatures die. We draw three cards. Much they were a lousy servant anyway. 
Draw the second card, trigger this thing. Oh, it's you? It triggers for them too? Yeah. Right, hmm. Maybe this whole pyromancer bit isn't so great. We're both gonna discard a card for sure. I guess we'll just do that. Hey. You stop. Hawkeye's getting restless. <laughs> Good health is easy to find in war. So I draw two, they take six, I take four. Stop. <laughs> He's batting my tie bars that I have up there. Oh no. Wait, is this gonna. So, I. Wait. How is this gonna work layers wise? If I just draw the card, I lose a life. So I go down to four. Is it they take three and then I take two? No, it's I take the damage first, don't I? I take the damage first. but effective. Yeah, I would take the damage first. So I would have lost if I would have done the draw because I would take one from Dread Presence and then if I would have drawn and like dealt the damage to them and stuff. Games. All right, we are four now with Rakdos control. Yeah, that that red ley line really messed us up. It did some work. It did some work. <sighs> okay, final boss time. Here we go. Final boss time. Yeah, we've had we've had a lot of really good games with this uh, league. We've had some real good ones. But all right, Do all right, Doster. Have a good night. We've had a lot of good games here. So I think I'm just playing this 2-2 flyer on turn two. Come on. Let's Abzan. I've, I played one Abzan deck so far, um, Abzan Hero, and it, it performed well. I haven't really tried to Abzan mid-range though, like you know, not, not focusing on the, the hero stuff. Um, And, you know, going more wolf-centric. It's hard, kind of hard enough to get enough food in there for the wicked wolf. But I don't think you, like, if you're playing Oko, you're probably not playing Abzan. So 
We're at 13. Lose a life, draw a card. Steam King with three counters and zero mana left to activate the ability if I have a Tithe Taker on the battlefield. Yes, because Tithe, Take Tithe Taker doesn't, doesn't make mana abilities more expensive. And that's a mana ability. So yes, yeah, they can do that with Steam King. Ah, oh, I should have had Dread Presence to play. Let's get him out and out of the deck. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. Glad I could help with your not being on fire problem. All right, we'll exile that thing. Yeah, but now instead we just get out, get a planeswalker and play. Exile the midnight reaper so it doesn't draw cards. Uh, I'm reaching my boiling point. <laughs> Feasting troll ki king equipped with a giant skewer is nasty and limited. I believe it. I believe it. me or is it getting a little warm in here all right not gonna let them attack my chandra I like where we're at here we're very far ahead Okay, we're up a game. Can we do it? Can we finish out the final boss here? So we're going to have... Huh. What do we want to do against our opponent? We didn't see too much. I want Coil. I want to Exile because of Midnight Reaper. It's. I'm not sure if I want Noxious Grasp. That's the thing. I'm, I'm not sure if I want Noxious Grasp. Maybe get rid of Soot. Like maybe we want Duress. That is true, Matthew. You did predict an hour ago. You did, you're like, yeah, like a long time ago. Yeah, hours ago. You predicted final boss win tonight. I feel like this could be a good I feel like maybe this could be a good Pyromancer matchup. I'm gonna try all these duresses there's so many good golgari spells um not only could they have like veil of summer that maybe we help duress away um or you know like elisa trades with duress instead of trading with our removal um you know it could be you know nissa vraska just all all sorts of stuff and then all the removal spells of course like trophy hmm all right they got my legion's end Right, that's a spell. Or that's that's a creature, that's a creature. Alright, let's 
after all these lands. They're just keeping their Veil of Summer up. Maybe a spot where I'm supposed to just cast the giant. Thank you. That was very nice of you. Veil of Summer is just too good of a card. You know, if that's game one, if that's game one, I just let them untap. And then I kill it after they have to discard. They had a disfigure in hand. So would I rather have the lifelinker out there? Maybe. Murderous Rider and Bone Crusher Giant doing their thing, you know, like we killed you know, we already traded with Paradise Druid and Rotting Regisaur and now we have these two creatures in play as well. They missed a land drop earlier, making it seem like they have um I want to get a mountain out of the deck because we want to draw a swamp. Making it seem like they had two spells in hand. Yep. Looking good for us. I came into being long before you. Ethan itself serves me. Yeah, Murderous Rider did a lot for us for sure. Alright, so. We're just going to make them discard that Growth Chamber Guardian. I guess that button doesn't work. Yep, 
Tutor up Growth Chamber Guardian. Discard Growth Chamber Guardian. That's it. 5-0. and oh. Let's get that fanfare. Alright, so... About this deck... It has a lot of removal. The removal is very good. Um, I really liked, you know, obviously Dread Presence is awesome, but, you know, going black red gave us better removal than just mono black. Um, really liked Murderous Rider, Bone Crusher Giant, those cards. Hey, what's up, RPG guy? I really appreciate that sub, RPG guy. You're amazing. Thank you. So, yeah, really good. Um, basically the strength of our deck were our strength of our deck was Murderous Rider, Bone Crusher Giant. Ugh, I accidentally got rid of a giant. There. Come on. Change the deck layout. Come on, Arena. Just work. Thank you. Now change it back. There we go. So our strength of our deck was the Rider, the Giant, the Dread Presence, and the Rankle. Rankle looked really nice for us. It was, you know, put good pressure on the opponent. Um, it was like sacrifice for removal. Um, instead of, uh, you know, so it got around like God's Willing and things like that. Get that extra discard or draw. These four cards, those four at the top, Rider, Presence, Bone Crusher, Giant, Rankle, were awesome. The six mana Planeswalkers, of course, really powerful as well. But I have to say that Pyromancer and Merchant of the Veil were, were really unimpressive. Both cards, um, same same with Order of Midnight, didn't really care for any of those, those things. Um... But just, you know, like, after sideboarding, we just filled it in with a lot more removal. And uh, we just had all sorts of removal. Then we had, you know, these things that were two, like, there were two for ones also. And then uh, Dread Presence got to draw us a bunch of cards. And basically, our opponents couldn't, couldn't gain any traction because we would just, um, we'd always just, like, have, like, all of the cards would trade. You know, like, our removal would trade for, for their spells and everything like that. Everything would trade. And then we would you know, have Dread Presence could draw a couple extra cards for us, maybe Rankle would do some stuff, things like that. We'd have, like, some two-for-ones here where our removal not only killed their threats, but then also then they would have to use their removal on my removal spells, right? And so then we'd just get to the late game, and then in the late game, we'd just play these six-mana Planeswalkers, and then our, our opponents couldn't answer them, and they would just take over the game. That's what happened there. So I don't know exactly what to replace these cards with. But yeah, the, the Pyromancer wasn't impressive. The Merchant of Ill, definitely not. Order of Midnight, definitely not. Um, I don't know. Ex you know, like we talked about in here, we talked about like other ways to like draw, to have it be draw to with like Discovery or Bag of Holding and stuff like that. And I don't even know if you need to, you know, other ways to help turn on Iron Craig Pyromancer. I don't even know if you need to like get that janky with a deck like this, honestly. I kind of feel like just um, – I would like some kind of other card draw besides just Dread Presence. I don't know exactly what there is. Maybe Bag of Holdings that. Maybe, maybe Theater of Horrors is that. You know, like maybe this is like Theater of Horrors. You play some of those. Um, some, some other way to help hit land drops <clears throat> and everything. I'm not exactly sure what. But I wouldn't mind just like – these kind of like removals and the you know basically how like what we were siding into all the time like that that kind of deck felt really good of um all sorts of removal those trading and then getting ahead with these things and having having your your opponent would have to like use removal on these cards and then boom the six mana planeswalkers and the game there so yeah we'll, we'll continue to work on the deck um there's a there's uh definitely some good stuff here though with um, you know, Bone Crusher Giant is another removal spell there. Um, but yeah, these cards are pretty good. All right. Anyway, we're almost an hour over here, so that's going to finish it for tonight. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like subscribe buttons over there and let me know what you, th what you would uh, want to do here with this deck. Um, if you're playing this deck later on, uh, let me know what's working for you. What's not working for you and everything like that also leave some comments over there on youtube um 
but uh yeah the i don't i don't really like the stormfist crusader because that that gives your opponents cards too it's not like card draw for you only it's card draw for them also and there's a lot of times like we're a defensive deck so that that life loss hurts for sure so i don't, I don't think i like um stormfist crusader yeah the top end's perfect we just got to figure out like the other the the first part of the deck but yeah like the top end's perfect really like um you know like all of this top end stuff love it we just got to figure out like these numbers of those those twos and threes there all right uh again thank you so much for watching to Rakdos control and i'll see you for the next video